How do you find the H? How do you find the H on these types of problems? I love problems like this. It kind of is getting you guys ready for calculus because uh, you guys have to do stuff like this in calculus. But this is strictly an algebra concept, which is why you're seeing it right now. Because I know you guys just asked that question. You're like, well, then why are we doing this? This is not calculus. I get to find the H. You have to find the h, and you know what? You don't just find h. You write it as a function of x, which is so weird. It says h uh, as a function of x, and you guys aren't used to seeing that. That just means when you plug x's in, you find the height of that rectangle. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a really simple problem. All right, let's check this out. I'm gonna draw this uh, function right here. We're gonna say this function is at one. Then I'm gonna draw this rando line right here. Here's a rando line, um, and I'm gonna draw this random um, rectangle. Okay, we're gonna say that this point right here, this point uh, is at seven. Okay, guys, can you tell me the height of this rectangle? No, the height is not seven. The height is six, and how'd you do that? You subtracted, right? Okay, if you wanna find the distance between any two numbers, even if they're negative numbers, you just subtract them. Okay, you take the biggest one, subtract the smaller one, and you'll find the distance. It even works if this was like a negative one which is kind of weird because I have this other line right here. Oh, I don't want to do that. I have this other line right here, okay? If, if this was a negative one, then you know your x-axis would be like right here, right? What would the height be? What would the height be of my, of my rectangle now? That's a negative one now, guys. Uh, yeah, it would be eight, right? And some of you guys did it different ways. You were like, oh, from negative one to zero, it's one, and then you add seven to it, so that's, that's gotta be eight, right? And some of you guys just did what I told you to do, and it was take seven and subtract a smaller number, and then you get, you still get eight, right? Is everybody tracking, everybody with? Okay, let's go back to where we were. Uh, where were we? We were right um, over here where this was a, a, just a regular one. Okay, so let's say, let's pretend for a minute that you didn't know that this was seven. Let's say that all you know is that this function right here is two X. That's what you know. You know that if you plug in this x value right here to this, you'll get you'll get this number, right? You guys agree? Like if you knew what this x was, you would plug it into this, and then you would get the y value, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so you can technically say we can say that this um, y value is two x if this is x right here, right? This, this that's what you get. That'd be the y value. So what would this height be? How would you find this height? You subtract 2x. Ah, yeah, 2x minus 1, right? Remember, it was a 7 before, but now we don't know what it is. We know that it's 2x. And so if we take that first number and we subtract the second number, we would get the height, right? Right? Yeah. So you check it out. This would equal h. Then you can get really fancy. You can write it in function notation. You can say h of x equals 2x minus 1. So it depends on what your x is. If we know what the x is, then we would know what this number is. Everybody's agreement? Yeah? So you just take the top number, you minus the bottom number. Oh, let's make this look more complicated, shall we? No, no, don't do that. Okay, um, let's uh, get rid of, let's get rid of this nice pretty line, because lines are pretty, uh, and we'll make this not uh, a, a pretty linear uh, function. We'll make him... Um, okay, the quadratic, and I I'm gonna make this guy up. Okay, let's let's um let's it has to be a negative x. We'll shift him over. I don't know three spaces. We'll square. We'll raise him up to five spaces. All right. So now this is our function. All right. This is our new function. Ew. Everybody's like ew. That's disgusting. Okay. This is what this y value would equal if you're at x. Right. You plug in that x, you would get that y value. And then, right, right. Yeah. So I'm just saying everything the same as I said. Now we have an ugly looking rule. Before it was a pretty looking rule, now he's ugly. So how would you define H this time? It is not him anymore. How would we define H this time? What would we define H as? The height of X would be what? What? Nasty looking rule. Right, that's the first number, right? How? And what would the second number be? One. There he is, the one. So you take the top number minus the bottom number. I don't know what the top number is. That's okay. Just put the rule in there, and then it would be a function of a, x. H is now a function of x. This is uh -huh. h of x. The height is a function of x. <sighs> don't get stuck on me how I made up this rule. Uh, I just knew that this is a pra parabola, right? Uh -huh. 
And so I thought, well, I'm going to shift the parabola over. I'm going to flip them upside down, and I'm going to raise them up five. So this is approximately what this is. I just made it up. Okay, these problems give it to you. They see. They say. They say this is your curve. This is your curve. Oh, and here's the bottom curve. This is your curve. Oh, and here's the top curve. What's our top curve for this one? Y equals three. <laughs> see, it's just a straight line. <laughs> top number minus bottom number. That's all you gotta do. Top number minus bottom number will give you the height function.